What's going on Master Duel fans? James here again. We are back for more Super Ultra Mega Complex that totally reeks of greatness of plants. If you know, you know. But otherwise, the context is that super long title name is basically uh, too many plant cards doing some combo lines that you got tons of options. If you haven't checked it out from the last video, uh, be sure to check it out. I'll have it in the link in the description below somewhere, either that or the comments somewhere. You'll see why. And then, with that being said, with this hand, extremely strong start. Normal Lone Fire, tribute for Baba Boom. Put the Rosalina on top. Fragrant Storm, drew into Rosalina. And an another Imperm, Baba Boom, get two more. Jasmine, Mudan, top the Rosalina. The two Baba Booms in conjunction with Sylvan Dance Peon literally guarantees at least one plant in terms of free summon offering the Sylvan. Dance Peon. For Rosalina. Rosalina for Marjoram. Sink into sweet Marjoram. Getting dried winds. Princess. Free special. Into Rosemary. Rosemary. Aroma Lilith. Getting blend. Blend. Discard the dried. Get the blessed. Blessed. Shuffle back the Lone Fire, just so that the life is higher. Blend, Miracle Fuse. Into Magnolia. Mudan, Tribute, the Rosemary. Mudan getting Kong Con. Set the Glamour. Activate it, Tribute the Mudan. Getting Petal. And Angelica. And three set. So, at this point, uh, this is basically more of an aroma side rather than a Rika side. So, we got two negates off of Imperm, a spell negate off Blizzard, and we either call it a Haunted off from Blessed Winds of any aroma monster, or once we gain life off from either Blessed and or Angelica in terms of quick effects. Sweet Marjoram's mandatory effect is to target one uh, card in general. Yeah, target one card in general. Your opponent controls, kill it. And then we do have a Aroma target in the graveyard. Well, two, just so that Angelica is live. In terms of a, of a quick discard for the life point gain, Magnolia with the boost, and... I think that should... Oh, and the moment we special summon a uh, Rosemary, if we really... If we really wish to, we get the search. Or, if we special Rosalina off from Blessed, we get another aroma out of the deck. You see, folks? This is what I call the Super Mega Ultra Complex lines that totally reeks of greatness of plants. Special Incredible Ecclesia. Quick Effect Angelica. Gain the 2200. The Iris Sword Soul. It's been two years since I last seen this card. When it comes to the Iris Sword Soul, well, technically, according to the uh, the debut initial release off from Iris, I'd say it's been around one and a half years to some degree. I won't even know it. So when it comes to the Iris Sword So, if you aren't too familiar with this card, level 8 Light Spellcaster, 2500 both ways. During the main phase, if a monster anywhere on a field whose effects are negated as a quick effect, Free special from the hand. 
If your opponent special summon a monsters more than one outside of the damage step based off from the location, you have the opportunity to pick which effect based off from the location of the summon monster. If it's from the hand, special one monster from your hand. If it's from the deck, draw two cards, AKA Pot of Greed. If it's from the extra deck, does not target, destroy one of those monsters special summoned from the extra deck. Each effect of Iris Sword Soul once. Also, can I just say the artwork of Iris Sword Soul? Fantastic, by the way, fantastic. Sweet Marjoram Kill Off Iris. Mo Yi. Reveal Taya, so actual Sword Soul. And Perm the Mo Yi. Golden Sword Soul to Special Summon. Just to negate the attack and then oh there's the tuner you know honestly that was actually clever that's automatically a chi Zhao, if i recall correctly um literally any tuner and a non tuner war. yeah that's literally a uh, chi Zhao right there that's crazy crazy never thought about that play so let's see it there's the chi Zhao. And perm the Chi Zhao. Mo Yi draw one. And end phase. Bless wins. Call it a haunted any aroma. And there's the Maxi. Cool. You draw a card. Top dead the ash. Well, we tried. Oh, also, I literally realized this, which I totally forgot about the turn one setup, is that uh, life is higher when it comes to the aromas, basically. Uh, sweet Marjoram exists. None of my plants can't be targeted within card effects. And then Magnolia exists on the field. None of my plants that I control can't be killed by opponent's card effects. So basically, the fusion and the synchro together on the same field, it's basically difficult to out the board. Normal to Jasmine, extra normal the pedal. Con Con, straight up set. V Tranquility, two plants into Jasmine. Pedal for Snowdrop. Blessed, shuffle the Rosemary. Jasmine, Sweet Marjoram, Magnolia. Getting the Laurel. And that's OTK. And this next matchup with this hand, a little bit hit or miss. No more the Baba Boom. Drop the Maxi immediately. Drew to Empire. Put back the Primula. And three set. Set one. And pass. No more the Laurel. Dance Peon. Bergamo, Jasmine, Deep Dark Trap Hole, Level 5 or higher, a fat monster is special summoned. Bergamo, basically. Banish that level 5 or higher, a fat monster. Ooh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, chain the Blessed Winds, sending away the Bergamo just to gain the Fondue Life. Jasmine draw one. Lord of the Heavenly Prison. 
Gloss out Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Drew into Snowdrop. Should be the uh, Dance Peons. Make them level 8. All from Snowdrop. Xyz Shoken into Teardrop. Sheet should be Snowdrop. Take the Lord. 3000. Uh, Teardrop. Should be the Lord. Boost. 3200. And based off from this board, we got Quick Effect Tribute, a Negate, and then Bless Winds to pick literally any of the three effects. And do we have a Aroma Target? Three of them. Nice. Cool. Ultimate Slayer. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to this, so once this card is being played, can't chain monster effects. So let's see what's the case. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls with the same card type, Fusion, Synchro, XZ, Pendulum, or Link. Shuffle it back into the deck. Wow. So to get around that thing, when it comes to the first effect, you still got spells and traps in terms of shutting off the effects, such as Blizzard, for example, to cancel out Ultimate Slayer, random fun fact. Lair of Darkness, set, and pass. Drew, and pass. Drew, Lilith, Lady of Lament, 1,000 instead of the usual 2,000 because of the normal summon. Empire, on Lilith, one for one, for Petal. I did not use Petal Effect, by the way, and uh, thanks to the Chibi for no reason. Bless wins. Pay a thousand for Rosalina. Rosalina for Marjoram. Super Poly. Negated due to impermanence. And then all from Super Poly's discard. Curry Kara Divincarnate. Now, uh, people are going to question about. The uh, Super Poly in this situation, like, yes, I cannot respond to Super Poly at all, but because of impermanence was used earlier in the same column where the blank card is, aka Super Poly, by the time that Super Poly was played, I may not be able to respond it, but Super Poly ends up negated due to impermanence. And then it's basically Game Afterwards versus Lair of Darkness. And last but not least, with this hand, Awkward. Okay, back at it again with Light Sworn. A glossed out Solar Recharge. And of course, Light Sworn's got their new support. So if I miss out any in terms of the new stuff, leave some comments below just in case. So, first things first on the new Light Sworn stuff. Weiss Light Sworn Archfiend. Each effect, once per turn, 
as a level 4 Light Fiend for some reason and not a spellcaster, but I totally get it. It's basically snow in disguise with the uh, cloaked hoodie. No attack, 1700 defense. You can place one other Light Sworn card, spell trap included, from your hand on top of the deck, special it out from your hand, then send a tattoo from deck to graveyard. Basically, this is meant for you to fix your uh, milling off from such cards. I believe it's apparently not listed, but I'm gonna uh, give it a fix. Okay, there we go. Uh, this lets you fix your uh, mill, such as Wolf, Feliz, and then it's uh, free special afterwards. So, Weiss Arch. Weiss, Lysorn, Archfiend is one of those new ones. And then, if this card is sent from the dead to the graveyard, target one Light Sworn monster in your graveyard that isn't Weiss, special it out. Light Sworn Dragonling. Level 4, Light Dragon, 1500 attack, 1300 defense. If you have a Light Sworn monster in your graveyard, Free special from your hand, copies of Dragonling included in terms of having a Light Sworn Engrave. If this card is special summoned, doesn't matter how it's special, send one Light Sworn from Death to the Graveyard that isn't Dragonling, so it's basically Foolish Burial for Light Sworn. And then if this card is sent to the Graveyard, doesn't matter how it's sent to the Graveyard, add one monster with 3000 attack, 2600 defense, from deck to hand, each effect of Light Sworn Dragonling once. So for the search, that would be Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon. And of course, the cutest little baby uh, Judgment Dragon before Judgment Dragon grown up in the artworks. Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn. Generic 8 as a Light Fairy Synchro, 2800 attack, 1800 defense. Light Swarm monsters you control cannot be banished by card effects. So built in Imperial Iron Wall of the Archetype. Each of the following effects once. First chance she gets Synchro Summon, you can send Light Swarm monsters with different types from your dead to the graveyard up to the number of light swarm monsters used as this card's material. Crazy. And then you can banish up to four light swarm monsters from your graveyard. Send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Wow. And then. And of course, uh, they did get a new fusion out, which is Enlightenment Dragon. Level 10 Light Dragon Fusion, 3000 flat both ways, which requires both Judgment and Punishment Dragon. Must be special from extra deck by banishing the above materials, one from each field and graveyard. No other ways doing so. Once per turn as a quick effect, pay 2,000, banish all other cards everywhere on the field and in the graveyards. Woo! Crazy, crazy. And then, once per turn, during your end phase, send the top four, literally like every other Light Sworn, like ever, 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 about the mills. Mill four, basically. And then, if this card in its owner's possession gets killed by an opponent's card, you can add two of your banished monsters to your hand. One Judgment and one Punishment Dragon. Then you can special both, ignoring the summoning conditions. And with that being said, new Light Sworn cards covered. 
and the enlightenment dragon is also covered yes it is so solar recharge discarding felice drew the two milling chaos space and starly schaefer horus light sworn Imseti discarding the judgment getting the kings Weiss fix the top deck of Wolf. Wolf and Oh, um, hold on. Okay, so opponent did not use the uh secondary effect of uh Weiss just yet though. Also, uh a tuner? Um Oh, why is this the tuner? Okay, nice. Minerva. Weiss and Felice. Now there it goes for Weiss. For Wolf. Bring back Felice. Glossed out Kings. Starly Schaefer. Getting the judgment back. And based off from the Light Swarms with different names. Just Weiss. And Felice. So right now it's just two. Kings discard the JD. Toss out Happy. Happy comes back. Or oh, and Insetti. Zombie Vampire. Trigger. And in the mill four, all from Zombie Vampire. Kings. Raiden, Maxi, Ash, and then two of the Lone Fires, Rika, Glamour, and Jasmine. So, specifically for the monsters, it's Raiden, Maxi, Ash, two Lone Fires, and Jasmine. Opponent picks Raiden. Good call. Raiden on a milling two. The mill two being Light Sworn, Dragonling, and. Bestial Ball Drake. Two into Dark. Appaloosa for three. Bestial Druid Worm. Banish the Minerva. Chaos Face. Return to Synchro. Draw one. Barn de Fleur. Okay, so based off from this board. Appaloosa, three monster negates, Baron, Omni negate. Garden, Noma the Jasmine, gain the 500. Jasmine attempt, Appaloosa negates. Extra normal Laurel, now that life is higher, Dance Peon. Dance Peon is one, Shame Block Laurel. Jasmine. Blend to fuse. Into Magnolia. Now, normally, uh, I usually be having blend in my hand in terms of searching it off from Rosemary. But because the card gets milled, we basically decided to change up the uh, strat a little bit. And it shouldn't affect us too much. Dance Peon over Appaloosa. And Magnolia over Baron. Two plants into Rosemary. Rosemary will receive nothing because Ash is a card. Rosemary. Tribute Banish the King. Tribute uh, Jasmine Banish the King. And then that's extra thousand life points. Dried wins on draw. Top decks another king. Inseti, happy. Happy attack. King's ability to send the Rosemary. And Inseti, 3000. Normal Baba Boon. Drew into Fragrant Storm. Put it at the bottom. Fragrant Storm. Drew into Human Move wins. Baba Boom, fetch two more. Fix up the uh, hand. But sadly, 
I was gonna uh, pop off and then Light Swarm players scooped. So guys, that's gonna do it for the Duelist Cup in the Super Ultra Mega Complex Lines episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already, smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated. And we'll catch you guys next time.